How to import your product in Shopify using CSV files. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import your product in CSV files in Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to understand before you get into this is first off, you need to have your Shopify account. So I have logged onto my account over here and this is like a basic empty account. So I haven't added any products and I'm going to show you guys how you can add your products using CSV files. Now, what are CSV files and how do you actually add CSV files onto your Shopify platform? Well, it's a simple and easy thing. You don't need to be overwhelmed or you don't need to get intimidated by looking at CSV files. I'm going to go step by step on what CSV files are and how to create them. So there is a simple and easy little thing provided by Shopify in the Shopify help center where they explain to you how to use CSV files and they also provide you with a inventory CSV file sample that you can download. I will leave the link to these in the description box down below. So make sure you check these out and you understand and give this a read before you start importing CSV files onto your Shopify account. So the first thing you need to understand is that a CSV file does not have any uh, spaces. So if I was to go into my product section over here and I was to add products, you can see these like, titles and all that. So if I want to name my product t-shirt, then it shouldn't have any gaps. If I was writing a CSV file, it would not have any kind of gaps. You need to replace the gaps with dashes. So that's like the first thing you need to know when you're creating your CSV file. So if you have your data set up already in a Excel sheet or in a Word format, and if it's located in different spaces, you're going to have to combine it into one space. And within that one space, there are two required columns on a CSV file that Shopify should have, uh, that your CSV file that needs to be imported on Shopify should have which are the title and the handle so you can see over here whenever you import new products the only required column is title and when you update products using a csv file the only two required columns are going to be the title and handle so this is the most important step whenever you're creating your columns or whenever you're working even in a spreadsheet or excel sheet make sure to add the title handle now after that you have your data dependencies so if i have like a t-shirt that i'm looking to create in my csv file then i have multiple sizes so I need to create like a value for sizes and then I'm going to enter the input or input the sizes that are available so that is how you create your basic csv file so you can see over here that csv files must use a utf-8 encoding so don't worry about that it's just a pretty simple little way to encode you don't even actually have to like create your csv file all you need to do is you can go on to microsoft excel over here like this just open up your microsoft excel when you're saving your document make sure that you are actually creating a simple little uh, save so over here when you save your little document let's say you're viewing it and you're saving it once you save you want to make sure that you're saving as a csv so you can see over here where i want to save this and what is the file format so you can see i have different file formats and right below your xls you have your csv so you want to save everything as a csv when you're working in your excel sheet so to create a simple excel sheet i'll show you guys how to create like a simple product excel sheet later on but before that I'm actually going to show you guys a sample sheet that has been provided by Shopify. So if you go on to the help section on Shopify, you're going to find this simple little sample sheet. So you can see over here, we have the handle, we have the title, we have the body, we have the vendor, and then we have a, you know, all kinds of uh, categories. So these are basic categories. Then you have the product type, tags, published, and option one. So you can see over here, these are some simple little CSV files. And this is what a CSV file basically is. It's like a more more complicated version of saying it's an excel sheet but it basically just is an excel sheet don't be overwhelmed don't feel like you can't make one it's simple and easy and once you have your csv files down so once you create your csv file once you can import this data on anywhere so you can import this data onto any platform onto any place that you want and it's going to be a lot easier for you to import your data so let's say if i go back onto my shopify store over here and i go into my product section i can click on import I can click on add file and I can just go on to my recent and this file that I have over here is called product template so I'm just going to search for product 
So to import your actual CSV file, the one that you're going to create, what you're going to do is you're just going to go into your product section over here on your Shopify store. So you're just going to go into product and don't click on add product. You're going to go into the import section on the top right. So you're going to find this little import section. You're going to click on import and you're going to click on add file. Now, before you do that, you need to choose if you want to overwrite any current product. So if this is just like a simple little file that doesn't have like any old product updates and you can uh, leave this as is but like if there are some products that are updated in the new csv files you can overwrite them as well but i'm just going to click on add files and i'm going to go into my section and i have this little csv file i'm going to click on open over here and i'm going to click on upload and continue so you can see over here that it has three products and these are all the titles, product statuses, the type, custom type, the vendor, and then the variants that I have provided over here and the prices. So this is how simple and easy it is to import your CSV file. So you're just gonna click on import product. And now you can see my products are being imported into my store. So I just have to wait a couple of seconds for this process to complete. So depending on how large or small your CSV file really is, it is going to take according so I only have three products and they have been loaded right over here and you can see I haven't added inventories and I have zero in stock for these three variants and these are the types, the vendors, the statuses. You can obviously change stuff once you have imported your CSV file and that is basically like the purpose of a CSV file. You can bulk add your products with the file and then if anything seems off, if anything seems incorrect, you can just click on the product over here and then you're just going to change up the, you know, whatever feels wrong if the tile is incorrect, if anything is incorrect you can just fix that individually if there are any mistakes but if there are not you're going to be ready to go in like a couple of minutes with a simple little csv file so if i was to go into excel what i would do is i would first write my title and then i would add toy teddy car like that and then i'm just going to click on over here i'm going to click on csv i'm going to click on save so i'm just still going to click on save over here oh i have this saved and now i'm gonna go into my products i'm gonna click on import i'm gonna click on add and i'm just going to go in over here and i just created this csv file i'm gonna click on open i'm gonna click on upload and continue and you can see i just added the title of the product i didn't add any other categories but just like that i'm gonna click on import product and my products are going to be imported so don't ever feel like it's too much of a hassle to create a CSV file and it's going to be so difficult. How can I do that? It's simple and easy and it's really not that complicated as some people might make it seem. It's just like a fancier version of a Excel sheet. Don't feel like you can't do it. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own CSV files and import your products directly from CSV onto your Shopify store. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.